Airsoft guns. We can rebuild them. We have the skills. We can make them stronger, faster, and better than they were before. Hey guys, welcome back to Airsoft Extreme Tech Tips. I'm Jeremy. Today we're going to be talking about how to solder or teach you how to solder. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a mini plug and how to solder the wires onto a Deans. I rate this 2 out of 10 gears. It's fairly easy to do. Uh, the tools that we're going to be using is soldering iron, solder, helping hand alligator clips, and a wire stripper. Now remember, if you do any kind of modifications or upgrades yourself, you will void your warranty. Unless you're really sure and know what you're doing and everything, I would bring it to an Airsoft Extreme technician. All right, let's get started. So what I like to usually do first is uh, strip the wires first. So I want to strip the wire or the insulation off the wires, exposing the actual wires. Now what I usually do from this point so they don't fray is I kind of give them a little twist so they're nice and tight like that. Like so. Get your helping hands. Get one of the wires on there like so. And this helps. It's flux. It actually helps the solder stick better to the wires. This is optional. It makes life a little bit easier, but it's not necessary. Just put a little bit on there. Like so. Now. Remember, you don't want to hold this. It makes it easier. This because the solder does get pretty hot. So now you want to get a little piece of the solder out, like so. You're just soldering iron. Remember, you have a wet sponge here too. <clears throat> this has helped to keep the solder clean or else it won't stick as well onto the actual uh, wire or whatever you're soldering it to. So what you do from this point is what I like to do is I hold the solder like so on the wire. Then I'll get the solder and I kind of go right in between. You kind of just let it bleed into it. So what they call tinning. Just so it's lightly coated like so. And once again, you want to do that to the other side or the other wire. Always remember you do not want to breathe in these fumes. Um, the old base stuff was lead. Um, I know they don't make that they have they don't make it like that anymore. Still not good to breathe in. Play off the tip. Alright. That's pretty that's done. Next, the plug. <clears throat> There's a uh, positive and a negative um, symbols on there, I guess you could say, that uh, you need to watch out for. So basically, um, obviously red, positive, black, negative. I don't know if you can see that. So, clip this in. Once again, I like to use the flux. And once again, get your solder. Make sure the tip is clean. And the same thing applies for this. You want to put a little, uh, like a little, guess a little bead, I guess you could say, on the on this. So t touch it. You don't want to touch it for too long. Remember, this is metal through here. This is plastic. If you get this really hot, it's going to want to wiggle. When I was first learning to solder it, I, I kind of it was a learning curve for me, basically. We'll put that on there. 
There it goes. There it is. Nice little bead on there. And then you want to go to the other side. And that's that. Okay, so I like to use sh uh, shrink tubing uh, to cover the exposed wires rather than electrical tape. You can use electrical tape, but this is just much cleaner, uh, creates a better seal. These are the uh, wire splicers. Most of them have a cutting edge on here. I like scissors, like so. Then what you wanna do from this point is put the shrink tube over first, or else how are you gonna get it on there if you try to put it on, or if you solder the wire on. Okay, remember where your positive and negative are. What you wanna do from this point is basically touch the two leads together, and then just push on there. So the top solder is gonna to wanna to melt into the, the bottom part, and then it creates a nice little bead like so. Gets a little hot, so you do sometimes want to blow on it. Same thing with the other side. There you go. Okay, so from this point, you just get the two pieces of uh, shrink tube, slide them forward. Um, I like to use a heat gun. Makes life a little bit easier. You can use a hair dryer. You could also use the solder. Um, but the only thing about that is you can sometimes burn the insulation on it. So you kinda, kinda be careful with that. But the easiest way, hair dryer, heat gun, like so. And that's it. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. That's this edition to Tech Tips. I'm Jeremy, have a good night.